Okay, everyone, let's do question number three. This question has a maximum mark of the five points. And the question says, it is given that the log base 10 of A is equal to 1 over 3. So this is a statement that is given. And we have to use this statement to solve the value of the given question. Question A, we have log base 10 of 1 over A. Okay. Okay, so we can have to change the uh, the format of this logarithm to use uh, this statement and to find the value of this logarithm, right? So in order to do that, we first going to use the uh, native exponent rule. Which is uh, when you have a to the power of negative m, it is equals to 1 over a to the power of m. Then using this rule, we can say that log 10 is same as a to the power of negative 1. Then we are going to use the power rule of the logarithm, which is log base b of m to the power of n is same as n times log base b of m. Okay. Then using this information, we can rewrite this as negative 1 times log base 10 of a. Then we know that the log base 10 of a is same as 1 over 3. So this is same as negative 1 times 1 over 3, which is negative 1 over 3. Okay. You can find these rules in your formula booklet. They are in page 2 of your formula booklet under the section 1.7. Then question B, we have log base 1000 of A. Okay. In this case too, we have to change the format of this logarithm to the format uh, which we can use the statement from the introduction so we can find the value of the logarithm, given logarithm, right? So in this case, uh, we first going to use the uh, change of change of base rule, okay? So means if we have a log uh, base A of B, this is same as log base C of A over log uh, base C of B. So we can separate the base and the number uh, into a fraction form using the same uh, base, but you know different base from the beginning, right? So using this uh, rule, uh, which is again, is given in your formula booklet right here. So using this formula, then we can say the log base 1000 of the A is same as log 10A over log 10,000. Okay, then we can simplify the denominators further, right? So here we have a log base 10 of A over denominator log base of 1000, but 1000 is same as uh, 10 times 10 times 10. So we can replace the 1000 with 10 to the power of 3. Then using the power rule, right, we can move the 3 to the front of the logarithm. Then we have log base 10 of a over 3 times log base 10 of 10. Okay. Then using the another logarithm rule, where the, when the base and the number is same, is equal to 1, you know, right? That's another logarithm rule. So using that logarithm rule, we can also say uh, log base 10 of a over 3 times 1. Then log base 10 of a is given in the introduction, right? It is equals to 1 over 3. So we can say uh, 1 over 3 over 3. Then we have 1 over 9 as the final answer. Okay, then question number 4. So question number 4 has the maximum mark of the A points. Okay, so points A and B lie on the circumference 
of a circle of the radius r centimeter with the center at origin O. Okay, this sector OAB is shown on the following diagram. So this is the di the diagram, and the angle AOB is denoted as theta and is measured in radians. So in this diagram, you know the angle AOB is right here, and is denoted as theta and is measured in radians. Okay, then the perimeter of the sector is 10 cm. This is our first information. And the area of the sector is 6.25 cm square. Okay, so this is our second uh, information. So when we say perimeter, we are referring to the outline of this uh, diagram, right? So the perimeter means uh, the R, two R's. And the uh, length of the arc that is given. You can find the, the formula for the length of the arc uh, in your formula booklet. It is uh, included under topic 3, but on page 5. And if you look at the section 3.4, you will see the length formula for the length of an arc there. Then using that formula, we know that the perimeter of the sector is same as 2r plus r theta and is equal to 10, right? The area of the sector, again, you can find the uh, formula to calculate the area of the sector in your formula booklet. Uh, again, it is included under section 3.4, okay? Then using this formula, we know that the area of the sector is same as 1 over 2 times r squared times theta and is equal to 6.25 okay and then question a we need to show that uh, 4r squared minus 20r plus 25 is equal to 0 okay we are not sure what this equation 4r squared minus 20r plus 25 equals 0 means but we do know that we have to use the information uh, from the previously identified measurement of the perimeter of the sector and the area of the sector. Okay, so question A, we know that the perimeter of the sector is same as 2r plus r theta equals 10 and let's call this equation 1. Okay, and the area of the sector is 1 over 2 times r squared times theta and it's equal to 6.25 and let's call this equation 2 okay then using the equation 1 uh, because the the equation that is given in question 8 which is 4r squared minus 20r plus 25 has no data within we're going to get rid of the data first okay so to get rid of data we're going to combine the equation 1 with the equation 2 okay by rearranging the equation 1. So means uh, we're going to rearrange the equation 1 as r theta equals to 10 minus 2r first. And we're going to divide both sides by r. Then we have theta equals 10 over r minus 2. Okay. Then we know that theta value is uh, same as uh, 10 over r minus 2. Then let's substitute this uh, new equation 1 into equation 2. Then we have 1 over 2 times r squared times 10 over r minus 2 equals to 6.25. Okay, then we have 1 over 2 r squared times 10 over r. I'm just expanding everything. Uh, and we have 1 over 2 times r squared times 2 and is equal to 6.25 then simplifying all this will get us the equation 5r minus r squared equals to 6.25 okay then multiplying everything by 4 uh, will give us the value 20r minus 4r squared equals to uh, 25 then let's rearrange this as 4r squared minus 20r plus 25 
plus 25 and is equal to 0, right? So we have shown that the 4r squared minus 20r plus 25 is equal to 0. So QED is done. Then let's do question B. So hence or otherwise, we need to find the value of the r and the value of the data. From the question A, we know that 4r squared minus 20r plus 25 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation. That means using the factor theorem, we can find uh, the factor, right? And then the factor is the r value. So uh, we can say that this is same as 2r minus 5. Uh, times 2r minus 5 and is equal to 0, so it's getting factored. Then we can say that 2r minus 5 is equal to 0. That means r value is same as 5 over 2. So we got the r value. Okay. Then since we also have to find the data value, we're going to substitute our r value back into one of the equations that is given at the beginning. And I'm going to substitute this into the equation number 1. Uh, because the equation number one is already in the form of data equals to, okay? And data is equals to 10 over 5 over 2 minus 2. And this is same as uh, 20 over 5 minus 2. And it's same as 4 minus 2. So it's uh, equals to 2. So data is equals to 2 radians. So we have solved the question B.